He's determined to stay on there. He's determined. It's a war of wills at the moment between the goalkeeper and his manager. But you know who the boss is. And it's the boss's word that counts. He's got to go off here. That's not a great sign when you are publicly trying to ignore your manager. Not what you want to see. Shows a lack of authority, really, from the boss. Well, certainly, it betrays the lack of respect from the players, or at least one player. Well, it's an extraordinary scene. He almost seems determined to stand his ground to try and be the hero in the penalty shootout to Risa Balaga, but the decision has been taken out of his hands. But he's refusing to go. It's extraordinary. Three minutes of stoppage time has been indicated, but Maurizio Sarri, with all justification, he can't back is down, fuming. He can't back down, he's got to force him to come up. He's made his decision, he's got to stand his ground, Sarri. Can't let the player win in this situation. Looks like he has, though. Well, John Moss needs to speak to the manager to find out, but it's almost like a... Who's in control of this club? Who's in control yeah. of this team? The lunatic's taken over the asylum, it's one of those. I mean, if the ref says, do you want to make a substitution, and he says yes. John Moss should make it happen. No. Well, the players won. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And if that doesn't undermine you, I don't know what does. And no. sorry is absolutely incandescent and with every right to be well he's walking away he might be walking away from the stadium is he walking away from the job he's not been sent off has he that's by his own accord isn't it no well never seen anything like this before and there goes the full-time whistle and it's the same old questions about who's in control of Chelsea because they've put in a lot of good work here today under Maurizio Sarri after their humiliation by Manchester City a fortnight ago. But the manager himself has been humiliated by an extraordinary extra time confrontation over a long distance with his goalkeeper. He was determined to take Kepa Ariza Balaga off when he pulled up lane for the second time, but the goalkeeper stood his ground, stayed on and won the war of wills with his own manager. Sarri feels humiliated and undermined. The repercussions from that will linger long, but uh, it will go to a penalty shootout. Chelsea nil, Manchester City nil. Oh my goodness, just when you thought you'd seen everything in football, Something like that happens. One of the most entertaining nil-nil draws, and not all for the right reasons. Jamie, have you seen anything like that no, before? No, I thought I'd seen it all in football. That was incredible. And I still think it's not finished yet, because you see Willie Caballero wants to come on, and the manager wants to get him on. I feel sorry for the manager. I, thought, I really do. It was such a difficult situation for him, and it's a nightmare. And you can see this is boiling over now. But I, could, I get Willy Caballero's got, you know, he's brilliant at penalties as well, isn't he? He's very good. I mean, uh, when we beat Liverpool in the, three years ago, he mean, he's been the main man. He's made a few good saves on the penalty shot. So, and, uh, and also, look at the psychologically point of view also. Maybe bringing Cavashiro on, you know, he knows most of the City players. Yep. I mean, I I'm still struggling to understand how a keeper would cramp in the first place. <laughs> I'm struggling <laughs> so with passing. that one. He, so much passing. How much has he undermined Sarri there, John? I think yeah. I think once a number goes up, you have to come off as a player. I think we have to you have to show that respect, and, and you have to come off. I get it that he doesn't want who's in the final. He's played well. He's doing well. If he's told the physios and the medical department he's okay, I can get his frustration. But you deal with that after. The last thing the players want or need now is this. But no one wants to come off anyway, whether they're fit or not, do they? If the number comes up, you have to walk off. <laughs> yeah, you have to. It's listen. It's interesting what's going to happen now, but. You know, just brought an awful lot of pressure on himself, hasn't Absolutely. he? Absolutely. Well, he nearly walked down the tunnel, didn't he, the manager? Thankfully, he decided to come back. I mean, what's happening now? Who's going to go and go for these? Still looks like it's going to be Kepa. It's going to have both of them. <laughs> that might be a good idea. <laughs> if Kepa stays in goal, he can still make himself a hero, and this might soon forget forgotten. If he doesn't, it's a horrible situation all round. 
I feel for him. I do. It's a yeah. horrible situation. It's, it's, for it's a difficult manager. one for everyone. For the players involved on the pitch, of Franco, they're shouting Absolutely. to get him off. It's, it's a tough call for everyone. It could happen anywhere. You know, we say that's Chelsea's under Mike. Could, that could happen anywhere. You know, you, it, the, yeah, I think it could. I think there's a bit of there's passion. He wants to be in goal, and he wants to play. He doesn't want to come off. He's a goalkeeper. It's a unique situation to take a keeper off in the first place. I, I, I really feel for Sari there. I really do.